Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shor, Yasharala, and to all you sincere brothers and sisters, Shalom to you and your household. So I wanted to touch on something because we're approaching those times where it's going to be a chess move, man. And um, Esau is going to come down with his great wrath and he's going to make his move. And then the Lord Yahweh, Bahashum Yahweh Shai, is going to make his move. And we hear these stories in the scriptures, powerful spiritual stories where the angels um, minister to the prophets, to the apostles, and um, that's coming back, you know, in the times we're living in. And you better believe it through faith that there's going to be certain brothers like ourselves. We don't know who. We may be thrown in a FEMA camp, prison, concentration, whatever the case might be. You know, and the Lord, through the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, he's going to free us. He's going to feed us. He's going to take care of us. You better believe it. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go to a couple of, two, this is going to be a quick one to the point. I'm going to go to two scriptures, you know, to prove my point, you know. And um, the first one is in the book of Acts. And I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to run through it real quick. You know what I'm saying? This is the book of Acts, chapter 12, verse 1. <clears throat> now, about that time, Herod, the king, stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Now, you see them, them wicked-ass Jews, man, they're going to pay. And those wicked Jews are here today, man. You better believe it, you know? And when they see the prophets out there in the highways and byways, you know, and doing these videos, and, you know, they get mad. They scoff. Our own people could be our own enemy, you know? Hey, the spirits are, are back, man. The same way the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, also, the spirits of the wicked Jews and Israelites and Jakes are back here today. Let's read. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. When he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him the four quaternions of soldiers to keep him. Intended after Easter to bring them forth to the people, which is the Passover. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison. But prayer was made without season of the church unto the Most High. Yahweh by Shem Yashah for him. You see that? This is why it's so important for us to pray for one another, man. You know, I pray for every sincere brother and sister out there, man. I pray for myself. We need it. That's why I said pray without season. And 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 the, and those men and women that were that fear Yahweh the Holy Church at that time, they prayed for Peter, man. Okay, verse six. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord Yahweh came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands, man. See that? Let's read verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. He said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And was not that it was true which was done by the angel, but though he saw a vision. When they were past the first and second ward, they came up to the iron gate 
that leadeth into the city, which opened it to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. So the angel came and delivered, man. Broke those chains for Peter, man. He got out the he got out of there. You know, and the Lord's gonna do that in these days, man. The Lord's gonna bless us. You know, you better believe it. Spiritual powers, men are gonna get. The angels are gonna intervene. You know, and this is believable. This is this is prophecy. This will happen. Verse eleven. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, "Now I know of a surety that the Lord Yahweh Shemiasa has sent His angel, just like that brother from Barbados." He knew it in the spirit of Yahab by Shem Yahab Shah. When that, when that angel looked in his eyes and said, I know you. The angels are ministers. They're around us. They watch us. They camp around us. They're around our home. The chariots are around our home. You know, they're above us. They're in our crib. They're watching us. They're protecting us, man, to the sincere brothers. You know, and believe it. Yahab by Shem Yahab Shah is making sure that. Okay, now, all right, let's read it again, verse 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of surety that the Lord has sent his angel have delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews, man. And today your modern Herod will be uh, Sleepy Joe and all these, you know, whatever, you know. And we're going to be presented, you know. We're going to be persecuted, but the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to guide us and protect us, man. Hey, we're going to eat, you know, when all hell break loose and everybody's starving and killing one another. While everybody's going crazy out here, we're going to be at ease in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Praising Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai in our knees, you know, our family, our children. Believe it. Believe it. This is Habakkuk. This is the book of Bell and the Dragon. It was only one chapter, and I and I advise brothers to read this, read the whole chapter constantly. It's a beautiful chapter. Now, verse thirty-three, as you see the title, Daniel fed by Habakkuk. Now there was in Judea a prophet called Habakkuk, who made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl, and was going into the field for to bring it for the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who is who is in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Yahweh, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown, man, and bare him by the hair of his head and through the vehemency of his spirit set him in babylon over the den man see what that that's teleportation man all right habakkuk was in once in one place in the next second he was in the lion's den with uh with daniel man you know that's what's coming that's what's coming then the lord said he shall lift up a standard man and a scout route brothers we're gonna be oppressed we're gonna be persecuted we don't know our situations some brothers may have it easier than others. It depends on your lot. But the Lord is going to make miracles and he's going to deliver his men. You better believe it. Okay, and let's read verse 37. And Habakkuk cries, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which the Most High Yahweh has sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O power, the Most High Yahweh. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. If we seek and we love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Kiss the father, kiss the son, man. Lest he be angry. We got to love. We got to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. He knows who we are. He knows every sincere brother and sister. Verse 39. So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. Immediately, man. You hear my finger smack? Look. That quick teleportation, man. The angels are going to minister to us in these last days, man. You better believe it. All praises and glory goes to the heavenly father. Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Shem, Rekha, Kadash. 
Shalom, La Bakarim, Shah, Yasharada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathan La Yaha, Kasayam, Shah, Dawada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Tawada, Yabashim, Yabashai. Double honors to my teachers, man, the, the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, you sincere brothers and sisters, Shalom.